What's up guys and welcome back to another video Today I've got a bit of a madness to tell you a bit of a bit of a crazy story It got me a bit shook about well, Three weeks ago now, but I wasn't actually gonna make a video here and I was driving past and I saw something really cool up ahead uh, Which I want to show you hopefully it's still there fingers crossed But I saw this I was like ah, it's locked up. No one's gonna come this way. It's supposed to be a route for some vehicles but me nice countryside isn't it nice english countryside ruined by the beautiful sound of the suzuki bandit <laughs> hopefully it's still here fingers crossed no it's not oh that's so annoying so on top of this i don't know what it is telephone pole thing right on top of it was a buzzard just sat there staring and i really want to film it and i oh, that's really annoying but anyway on to the story to tell you today i sold a stolen motorcycle technically no 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 not, not technically no no i did not sell a stolen motorcycle but i was almost told that i had and it was the Honda that I've just sold. So here's how the story goes. I'm at university looking for a new motorcycle. I'm looking at the NC 750Xs or 700Xs and the CB 500s. And I see this amazing Honda CB 500X from a dealership with a really good price tag. As you know, if you haven't watched the video of why I bought the Honda, go watch that. You'll understand why I bought it and why i got such a good price on it anyway it's from a dealership and i was like yeah cool you're in manchester i can't go all the way to there for this bike can i buy it and you i pay for delivery and you deliver it and they're like yeah not a problem we can sort that we'll send all the paperwork through we'll show you it's fully legit before it's gone everything like that do all the checks hpi check everything like that i'm like min came sound as anything not not a worry in the world okay not a worry in the world with it or so i thought when it came to selling the bike there was no issues with selling it the guy was absolutely lovely and i even he, he didn't live food too far from me so i even delivered it to his house and all went well a couple of days later oh well, actually no it was actually the same night i think he messages me and says we have a problem and i'm like oh god what's up he says i've just gone to tax the vehicle and it's coming back that it's red and i thought oh, okay bit weird but shouldn't be an issue maybe they've changed the fairings out of it bit weird because it wouldn't just have been it wouldn't have just been a simple you know fairings off fa new fairings on you know the tanks black and everything else is black so i was like okay a bit weird and then he goes the bigger issue is the engine number doesn't match up with the paperwork and i'm just like um what uh okay and at this point i'm just like how's this happened like have I bought a stolen motorcycle? Has the dealership bought a stolen motorcycle? I bought it off them and now I've just sold a stolen motorcycle. And I'm like, holy crap, like... Uh, we're reading out the numbers and it's only the last number that is two digits out. And I'm like, that's a mad... That's got to be a mad coincidence. Like, there's no way. So we're thinking, what, what's happened? Is that had an engine swap? Has it been in an accident? Or worst case scenario, it's been stolen because the frame number matches but the engine number doesn't so i was thinking oh maybe it's had an engine swap i'm thinking it's only done 10,000 miles though why would someone replace an engine that early on and if it's in an accident it's going to be a write-off no one's gonna no one's gonna spend that money on a brand new bike changing all the fairings and a new engine Ooh. so I, I couldn't make sense of it and i was like i'll get it sorted i'll ring my dealership that i bought it off don't worry i'll call you back rang my dealership they're like we did a hpi check on it it was fully clear it says on the hpi it's black summaries on the date tag it says it's red on the paperwork it says it's red 
we don't know what's going on but the bike has never been stolen it's fully legit we we can only tell you what through our checks of what it is I'm like okay no worries I trust you guys I think the guy was panicking a little bit which you would but once he saw it, it was a full legit dealership he, he calmed down a bit but that that day I was taking the KTM in for uh, repairs and as I was off out he turns up at my house and uh, my dad's there and luckily my uncle's there he was a police officer <laughs> so my uncle starts talking to him and they're going through all the paperwork doing everything they can and we said the only thing you can do which we haven't done so far is contact the DVLA uh, and ask them what's going on but we're 99% sure at this point it's going to be a paperwork error right from the beginning it's just that one number at the end being put in wrong is and it's changed the bike from a red to black or black to red or whatever um, because there's no there's no other way for, for it to, to to have been stolen or have a new frame because the, the the paperwork goes off of the frame number and the frame number and the paperwork match up you can see where the whole panic was of where it was like oh no has has someone bought a frame and put a different engine in it and everything like this that just doesn't make sense of that being a brand new pretty much a brand new bike for someone to do that just doesn't make sense um, the dealership said there's there's no way that could have happened through the people that they they knew the guy that sold it to them and all this other stuff they, they'd never heard that it was done never been an accident never been touched it's never been reported stolen so after that the guy calmed down a bit went off and I haven't heard from him since, so fingers crossed, it's not stolen, <laughs> and I haven't stolen a mo uh, sold a stolen motorcycle. But oh my god, it was it was just madness. It, it was madness. I, I, it got me going. I'll be honest, and I want to I want to ask you guys, how many of you have actually checked an engine number? I've never checked an engine number in my life. I'll be honest. I've checked the frame number before, but I've never gone to uh, out of the way of to checking an engine number. I don't know why. Um, but I understand why, why, why the guy did is seeing it, it was red and then the bike's black and all this other stuff. That looks like a madness. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a bit of a, a story time <laughs> video for you. Uh, thank you all guys for, for all the support on the last few videos. I hope you are liking the band there, I sure am. And yeah, if you've ever had an experience like that before, with selling your bikes, let me know. And other than that guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. What do you mean it's the end of the video? I can't end the video like this. I haven't even given you any excitement yet, have I? It's got to be done, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm never going to get tired of this. It's been a while since I've gone down this road. I used to go down this all the time on the Grom. It's a bit sketchy on a bigger bike. Such tight corners. And Jesus, is it bumpy. And you've got shit like that. Fucking hell, man.